Hi, I'm Walter Robinson, and we're here in my studio in Long Island City. I came to New York to go to college, and I spent the 70s in Tribeca and Soho. During all that time, I was seeking some kind of autograph art style of my own, something that I was comfortable making. Towards the end of the 70s, I realized that I wanted to paint in the style of pulp paperback covers from the 40s and 50s. I wanted to reject all the avant-garde. I wanted to reject all the posing and the phoniness, and I really liked the way these paperback covers were painted. They were disappearing. It was a disappearing format, so it was a little bit of a preservation enterprise. Plus, they were all about passion and love and romance and drama. And I thought that that was real, that really captured something. I related to it. So basically, I was looking for images of couples embracing. And I might have had an ulterior motive because as a young man, it seemed that young women liked pictures of couples kissing. So I found they gave me a certain kind of sex appeal. I like that. I lived on Ludlow Street, and down the block on Delancey Street, there were lots of outlet stores, and you could go there and buy the sheets there. So I thought, I'll make some paintings on bed sheets, and then I don't have to ship them, I can just fold them up and carry them. And the inspiration for painting on patterned bed sheets, I had gotten from Sigmar Polka, because he painted a lot on printed fabrics. The one that Whitney has is a really beautiful pattern sheet. It's got pink roses on it. I don't know where it comes from. I think you'd be hard pressed to find one that beautiful today, but it's sort of an accident. And obviously the contrast of the spy, the tough guy with the pattern of the roses is kind of amusing. And it's a self portrait. That's the artist as a macho figure. And the way I think that all my paintings are about evolution and about biology and about desire, which underlies everything in the end. 